Hi guys, my name is Sandhya and welcome back to another IGTV video. In today's video, I am going to be showing you how to create your very own gift hamper from readily available items. These hampers are a great way to show that you care and also save you from that last minute scrambling for a gift. Sounds interesting right? So let's get started. All of us have tons of glass bottles and jars lying around the kitchen so it's time to upcycle those and use them for nuts and sweets. I've got plenty of jars here but some of them have these stubborn stickers. Well I'm not going to waste my time peeling and scraping them away. Just one spray of WD-40 and see how easily they come off. Any gift hamper is incomplete without some dry fruits and sweets so that's going to be the first few items that we need to curate in this hamper. Take an assortment of dry fruits like almonds, cashews, walnuts and raisins and layer them into a bottle jar like this. Create alternate layers of dry fruits and nuts for an aesthetic look. Once you have layered the nuts, it's time for some finishing touches to the bottle by adding some twine around the cap to give it a rustic look. As for the chocolates, I'm going to be using this jar whose cap I've misplaced. Once I've added the candies, I'm going to use a piece of this jute cloth as a cover and again wrap it with a twine to maintain the rustic theme of hamper. The next and favorite item in the hamper is the succulent pot. Plants are great gifting options and the person you're gifting this hamper to will always be reminded of you. For this planter, I repurposed an old metal one from my garden and then added some soil and coco peat and planted this cute little succulent in it. It was a bit rusty, so I just cleaned it off with some WD-40 before decorating it. If you wish, you can glue the same jute cloth around the planter and give it an extra home. The final items to go into the hamper are the scented candles that I have in my home. To upcycle them, I am just going to wrap them with a jute cloth to maintain the vintage and rustic theme we have going. Now that all the gift items are ready, it's time to assemble them aesthetically. Take a wicker basket and place all these goodies in them carefully. If you are feeling a little bit extra like me, add battery operated fairy lights and zazz it up. Finally, wrap it with a beautiful net or mesh cloth and your hamper is ready. If you want, you can even add a cute handwritten note to your basket. Not only is this hamper going to save you some bucks, it's also a fun DIY activity for you to showcase your creative side. My friends and family loved receiving these DIY hampers and I'm sure yours will too. Happy gifting!